Hey guys, today I would like to show you how you can uh, fetch the balance of the Ethereum account using a web free JavaScript client. So first of all, we're gonna need to require uh, our web three client. Of course, first you need to install it into your system. You can type just npm installed web three and then you are able to use it inside your project so let's do it web tree okay we've got uh, the web tree included and right now uh, we need to specify uh, which provider our web three clients should use because if you are developing something uh, for ethereum blockchain you need to have the provider which uh, offers you simply uh, access to the ethereum blockchain and usually uh, when you are developing something uh, you have your local uh, ethereum blockchain running and you are connecting to your uh, ethereum blockchain but uh, today uh, this video is uh, really about very basic stuff so we'll connect to the main net of the ethereum uh, using infura infura is a project uh, which you can use uh, for uh, connecting to the ethereum blockchain or ipfs uh, nodes uh, using their api uh, you can create a new account for free and use it uh, for your everyday um, development yeah so let's initiate uh, the provider so it's gonna be const provider and new web tree dot providers HTTP provider and here as a parameter we need to pass um, the URL from Infura or your uh, local blockchain Let's see okay we have provider ready to uh, be used so now we can actually initialize um, the variable which we're gonna use for fetching uh, account balance from ethereum so uh, here we're gonna new web tree and as a parameter we'll pass uh, the provider and now we'll try to fetch the balance using the this web3 variable so it would be web3 eth get balance here we need to pass uh, some um, address of the ethereum account so we can go just to etherscan.io it's a uh, ethereum block explorer and here we can see some accounts that are top in the ranking so here somebody have let's see oh yeah some nice uh, amount of money 446 million dollars and this is the balance in either so we'll try to fetch the balance of this account here is the address of this ethereum account we can just copy it to the clipboard let's get back to code and we can pass this address as a parameter to the get balance function and this get balance uh, actually returns the promise and the promise in javascript is usually used for asynchronous calls so here we can resolve this uh, promise here we're gonna write balance and here we can just console log the balance from the 
this account. Let's copy and let's run the code. Yeah, and here we have some value, which is actually the big number and is a bit hard to uh, read it. So maybe we'll um, convert because this is in a metric called way and we can convert this value to the ether. So basically we need to do const ether and it's gonna be web three utils. Here we have some functions that we can use for for example converting stuff. So from way balance and we want to convert it to ether. So now oh yeah some syntax error. Okay, and now we can console log the ether. Let's save and run the program again. Yeah, and this is how much ether this particular user have. So uh, just to sum, summarize, uh, we have used the Web3 JavaScript client. Of course, there are some other libraries that allows you to access the Ethereum uh, blockchain. You can use uh, the ethers.js, but the Web3, I think, is the most popular one. Here we need the provider if you are developing something locally in your blockchain. Uh, then probably you will use something like uh, HTTP and for example localhost and with some port number um, but if you want to connect to the real uh, main network of Ethereum then you can use Infura or probably some many other providers so you can have the access to the network and you can perform some operations. And today I just show you the basic operation of getting balance of uh, some Ethereum account. And yeah, thanks for watching.